beginning of the uh, debate, uh, Crampton said uh, something about GSP being involved with homecoming and getting like a, some sort of concept to uh, like introduce new students and stuff like that, and uh, and, and like help out with homecoming and stuff like that. But you said uh, that uh, you want Homecoming Central to uh, take care of most of homecoming, but you want to still like be involved in activities around campus like homecoming. I mean, are you trying to say that GSB shouldn't be involved in homecoming at all? I mean, they don't have to control it. They can just try to get their name out there, promote their ideas, and stuff like that. Are you saying that you'd be out of that completely? Well, as a member of Homecoming Central this past year, I can't say how busy people are on GSB and how people or how busy people are on uh, Homecoming Central as well. And I think the government or the Homecoming Central has been pursuing strategies to involve the whole campus for many years. And it's not a project that's uh, of the scope of the government of the student body. And when you look at some of these other projects, I know Maggie and I have had a lot of experience working with many different parts of the university. And I think this experience in all university uh, sections is very important. When you think about this concert that they're proposing, think about all the risk management factors, the money that's going to have to go from other student organizations to this concert. It's not feasible. The university would not approve of a concert like this or an event like this because of all the risk management issues. And I think it's really important that somebody has a perspective and knows all the things that's going, uh, that are going on and they know what's attainable and what's not. Yes, I would. I think um, this debate tonight is making it very evident the two sides of the future of GSB. Um, Jeff and I have big visions and big expectations for this university. Coming from our, yes, yep. Um, I was student vice president of my high school. My high school had around 850 kids. Now my high school, we put on a huge concert that was free every fall. We had tons of vendors there. They were doing free food. It was a week-long event. Nothing cost, well, there was no cost in my high school. Now we're a university with thousands more students here because I come from a very small town. Now there's no reason that we can't look big picture and we can't look to the future for bigger, better things for our students. If we're going to really seriously talk about enhancing our students' experience here at Iowa State, then we have to look for excellence. Yeah, it takes hard work, it takes a lot of planning, but we're here to break the mold. We're here for change and we're here to make your experience better. And we're going to do work to get those things done. Thanks. Oh, can I comment a little bit? Sure. Um, just, just to put money, uh, budget, things out there. Avisha spends $13,000 on their um, entertainment, such as band. Student appreciation, which is the fund that it, this would most likely come out of, is capped at $5,000. So to do a big uh, event like this would virtually probably be impossible. I just like that. I won't comment to that. Um, that that's fine. Um, it's called sponsorship and fundraising. Um, as, as, a, as a pledge class president in my uh, fraternity, I, I organized a fundraising project that raised $80,000 in four weeks of phone call. Now, as an entire university, I think we can do a pretty good job of raising some money so we can have a good time. And that's